Yeah, so I really, really like consoles. All oh, those amazing stories, RPGs, first person shoot em ups, third person shoot em ups, technological innovation. I'm very, very happy to have a piece of the hardware here that plays the software. It's amazing, games are amazing. What games do you like to play? You can leave your comments on all of What games do you like to play? Which ones out of all of these consoles that I show is your favorite ones? You know what I mean? Do you prefer OG Xbox, 360 Xbox, or One Xbox? These are the PS3s. Like, do you prefer the slider? D did you like the slim PS2? This one is the version after that fat PS3, which I really, really like. I don't worry about com backward compatibility because I got the two, so it's all good. Yeah, and two will play one games and so on and so forth. So I'm happy with that. Um, I never, I never really worry about whether it's backward compatible or not. Yeah, that's not it's great having it because I'm um, sometimes when I'm playing my 360 games and I cannot run my 360 games. My or my original Xbox games on the 360, even though not all are compatible, it's really nice. It's a nice touch, but I don't mind. And as I was what I was saying, you would have I, I own a Nintendo Wii console somewhere, but um, I can't collect a Nintendo. It's just too expensive, and I'm a poor collector, patient collector. So, you know. And when they say the used market ain't good, yes, it is good. Where do these? Where do your consoles go when they die? They come to me. They come to the used market. They come to me. I'm a part of the used market and I am a real, real true gamer. Never think because um, I like the used market more because when I was growing up, that's how I was able to get my consoles. You know, and like I had to wait a little bit, wait until the hype died down a little bit. And then I would get my console in relative peace, relative ease. So. It's one of those things. And so I still continue doing it because that's the way how I love to do it. So everyone have a way how they love to collect consoles. Some people like to get at the launch brand new. Some people like to wait for a year. Some people wait a couple of months. And then, you know, and I think they're all fans just the same. Because you have to remember in this world it's about finances. So if you, if you don't have the finances, you're going to have to try and find a way. And in saying that, I think I'm authentic anyway, because even though I could have mod any one of these consoles at any point, I didn't. I choose to play the games as they were, let them go through, let them go through their time period and stuff like that. And then I only thought about manifestation after the time, after the facts, you know, after that generation and stuff like that. So, yeah. So I respect the industry for what, what it is. You know what I mean? And the industry has to respect the players for how they play. And how they choose to do it. And how they choose to use the software or the technology. So, yeah. What do you collect? What do you collect? And why do you like collecting it? Well, I like collecting these things because at first, like, I could never, um, I could never own them. So, and I really, really like them a lot because... When I was younger, it wasn't so easy for me to get them. And when I have them, I try my best to um, look after them as best as I can. Obviously, they are hardware and you do want to use them. You do not want to pick them up. You do want to move them around, rest them up. That's the whole idea of after a while, you just, you clean them up and you know, you open them up and dust them down. So hopefully they last another four years, five years, six years or whatever. But they will last really long cause look, I have still have the original ones and they still work and and they last and I don't care to void a warranty if I need to clean my thing if I because once I bought it I own it I'm not worried as long as there's not a part broken inside then I'm fine to just clean it up sorry it out clean the fans clean the motherboard and we have all the information that we need to do these things to preserve the console so some people treat their console really bad Cause this one was really really badly treated but as a man artist i i resurfaced it and i 
you know, gave it like the bumblebee a uh, much deserved new life. So yeah, the new used market is good for that because they basically make um, consoles of a heaven. So this is console heaven because I'm keeping these unless um, I'm letting them go to someone else who actually appreciate them just as much then I'm keeping them for the foreseeable future <laughs> yeah and I've had loads and loads of fun and these and I'm still collecting for the three PS3 it's amazing because I've been through most of 360 but by the time I start coming through the library by the time I start playing through the library on PS3 to me that was amazing and I could have got get the games cheap obviously you have to make your choice what you're gonna choose to play first and why what's more cheaper for you what's more viable what you love the most and it have to do with a load of things some people like exclusives and all that really I like exclusive but I'm a gamer really I like a good game no matter what platform, no matter who makes it or produces it. So I'm going to say bye for now and leave your likes. Which one featured console is your favorite? The Slimline? It's PS3 Slimline? Or does Xbox One Eras? Xbox 2? Xbox 360. Which one is your favorite? You can tell. Leave your likes, comments, and yeah, catch up with you soon. Oh.